Good morning. Welcome to your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We have pleasant conditions out there this morning with mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies across the Delmarva Peninsula. We're going to continue to see these pleasant conditions throughout the day. We have an increase of cloudiness as we move into the afternoon hours with a weak upper level disturbance trying to move towards the region from the west, uh, producing some showers across central Virginia this morning. Those showers will die out, but the cloud cover associated with that disturbance should move towards our region for the afternoon, possibly giving us some most of the cloudy skies during the mid-afternoon hours. Looking at the conditions the last 24 hours across the Mid-Atlantic region, seeing temperatures yesterday in the mid-70s to mid-80s. Richmond was a warm spot at 84 degrees here at Wallops. We were at 78. Ocean City was one of the cooler spots at 75 degrees. Last night saw temperatures dropping down in the 60s and lower 70s. Salisbury was the cool spot at 60 degrees. Here at Wallops we were at 64 degrees while our nation's capital was at 71. Last 24 hours, haven't seen much precipitation across the region as we have had high pressure in control. Washington has seen a trace early this morning. Other locations, all the locations not seeing any precipitation. As of 9 a.m., we are seeing temperatures ranging from the lower to mid 70s. Here at Wallops, we're the warm spot at 70, one of the warmer spots at 76 degrees in our partly cloudy skies. The skies are averaging out anywhere from mostly cloudy to mostly sunny with uh, some partly cloudy skies here at Wallops. Looking at our sounding from 12Z this morning, our freezing level was at 14,300 feet. Winds are light throughout the column out of the east and the low levels at 10 knots, then turning southwesterly in the mid levels about 10 to 15 knots, and then seeing our peak wind out of the northwest at 25,000 feet at 17 knots this morning. In our 12Z surface analysis, we have high pressure remaining control of the eastern portion of the United States seeing a weak upper level disturbance just on the lee side of the Appalachians this morning. That's uh, producing a few rain showers around Washington DC. We have a more potent system across the Great Lakes stretching a cold front across the Mississippi Valley. It's going to be moving towards our region for uh, Saturday morning into Sunday and that's going to give us some um, Rain showers most likely on Sunday and a possibility of a shower or thunderstorm on Saturday, but Sunday looks like a better chance for that rainfall. Looking at our current observations across the region as well as our radar, uh, seeing uh, calm winds or light winds across the Wallops region, seeing temperatures rising up into the uh, mid to upper 70s across the area, seeing these light rain showers across the central portions of Virginia starting to move into the eastern portions of uh, of Virginia or western portions of Maryland, eastern portions of northern Virginia, excuse me. And the, these, these showers are going to move off to the north and uh, should avoid the Wallops region and should uh, continue to die out as they do move off to the north and east. Looking at our frog charts in the next few days, here's our Friday midday planner. Fairly nice conditions out there, pleasant uh, for this time of year. Temperatures in the upper 70s under partly cloudy skies. For our Friday night, going to see our skies clear out cold front approaching from the north and from the west. It's going to keep our temperatures a little bit warmer than we saw last night in the lower 70s tonight. And for our Saturday morning, that cold front looks like it's going to cross the region fairly quickly Saturday morning, uh, possibly before noontime, and that should really uh, cause our temperatures not to get very warm uh, for our Saturday afternoon, seeing temperatures only in the lower 80s with the possibility of a shower or thunderstorm as this cold front sags south. Uh, can't rule out that shower or thunderstorm popping uh, especially across the southern portions of the Delmarva Peninsula. And for Sunday, we're going to have that cold front that's going to be farther north than this frog chart showing. It's going to be across the Delmarva Peninsula over the Wallops region. That's going to give us a good chance of showers across the region with uh, onshore flow, so our thunderstorm chances will be very minimal on Sunday. Looking at our risk chart for today, we're going to have a green conditions across the board, a high around 79 degrees. South winds this afternoon, 9 to 14 knots. Tonight we'll have a low around 71. Winds becoming southwesterly to westerly uh, during the morning on Saturday. And uh, we'll see those winds west at 6 to 11 knots by 8 a.m. on Saturday. Our 24 hour terminal forecast currently we have a few clouds at 25,000 feet, a scatter deck at 4,000 feet, scatter deck at 25,000 feet, or partly cloudy skies. We continue to see these partly cloudy skies in general throughout the day, and we'll have a slight chance are developing a ceiling around 5,500 feet for the afternoon hours. Then by tomorrow morning, we're going to have mostly cloudy skies across the region as that cold front starts to approach from the north. And uh, we'll see 
possibly some overcast skies around 3,000 feet developing during the late morning on Saturday. Our tides are slightly above normal, and looking into the weekend, we'll see Saturday will be mostly cloudy to overcast, a slight chance of a shower or thunderstorm, especially south of the region. It'll be slightly breezy by the late afternoon evening off the water, and we'll have a high of 82 degrees. Uh, yellow for precipitation and lightning, about a 20% chance of that occurring on Saturday. Saturday night will be cloudy, rain showers likely, slightly breezy onshore winds, a low of 67 degrees of orange for precipitation. And Sunday we'll have cloudy skies continuing in the morning with rain showers likely, then mostly cloudy to overcast with scattered rain showers in the afternoon and evening. Be cooler with a slightly breezy onshore flow. We'll have a high of 71 degrees and orange for our rain on Sunday. Looking into the next seven days, uh, for the early portion of next week, it's going to be fairly unsettled. Uh, Monday, we're going to have a continued chance of rainfall as we'll have that frontal boundary across the region. Onshore flow will keep our temperatures in the lower 70s, and we'll have uh, disturbances in the area that could provide us with some sh rain showers across our region. Tuesday morning looks like our best chance of rainfall. Uh, for Tuesday, we'll have a warm front moving through during the morning on Tuesday could provide us with those rain showers a high of 79 degrees. Wednesday looks like a cold front's going to approach from the north and west during the afternoon and evening hours. We'll have a warmer temperature of 86 degrees with a chance of thunderstorms. And then Thursday, uh, right now it looks like that cold front should move south of the region with an area of high pressure building in from the north, from the east, and that's going to give us uh, temperatures about seasonable for this time of year or slightly above in the upper 70s to lower 80s and are mostly cloudy skies. That's going to complete our daily weather briefing this morning. I hope everybody has a great weekend. We'll be back on Monday morning at 8.15 and 10 a.m.